Greetings everyone, hope you're keeping well out there as I'm sure you all know by now. My name is Alex and today we are checking this out, which is in fact the Icodus Megascan Pro X7 Book and Document Scanner. Now when it comes to reviewing things on this channel, I always try and keep an eye out for things that look quite interesting or something that maybe there isn't that many reviews of on the internet. So when we were offered this by Icodus themselves, I must admit I was very keen to try it out because not only is this just a book and document scanner, but it can also convert files into an option of your choice, including a PDF and editable Word documents or can even convert books into an e-reader file. But of course, just how good will it actually be? Well, that is exactly what we're going to find out today. So we're going to start off usual quick unboxing and then we are going to try it out. So I'm going to take this off here if I can actually get it off. Whoa. OK, so we're inside now and as you can see, everything is beautifully wrapped. And to start things off, it looks like we've got a CD with the software, which is called CamShop. We also have the CamShop user manual and then we have an after sales service card. We have, it looks like a warranty registration. And then this is a document camera quick start guide. I want to get this book scanner out though. Let's just take a good look at that. Pull it out of here. Look at that. Well, for first impressions, I mean, just holding it, it really does feel quite futuristic almost slick in some ways if I had to summarize it in one word but the build of it it feels very well made I mean look at this this is metal this is metal and it even has a nice rose gold color scheme thrown in there as well and then at the bottom this appears to be rubber where the Icodus logo is presented but it's also solid now, if we quickly turn this over and open it up, you'll be met with the heart of the scanner itself. So this here is in fact a 15 megapixel camera. And of course it does do both photo and video. And then these here are nine super bright LEDs. So let's just say your documents or whatever it is you are trying to scan needs a bit more light. Turn these on and it will be illuminated. As for the inputs and outputs, well, to connect it to a PC or laptop, it does use a standard printer cable, which is USB-B, and then for power, it is USB 2.0. But yeah, it does look pretty cool. I mean, I do like its overall design. It feels very solid. It feels well made. I'm liking it so far. But let's just quickly go through what else we get in the box. So to begin with, we have a USB AB cable and then this is a double USB 2.0 connection here too. And how long is it? It's quite long. This looks like a miniature shutter button and there we go, it is connected via USB once more. But yeah, if you don't want to take a picture via the software, you do have the option of doing it here too. And finally, we come to the mat. Okay, how do we open this? There we go. The noisiest bag. Whoa, look at that though. That is a very nice mat. It really does feel quite sensual to be honest with you. And underneath, whoa, we even have a rubberized indented coating to stop it from moving about. But the best part is, I don't know if the camera can actually pick that up, there is in fact markings going up to the maximum size that this scanner can do, which is A3, but you've got A3, you've got A4, you've got A5, you even have a business card placing there in the center. So yeah, that's quite neat because let's just say you've got to scan various size documents. As long as you're within these boundaries, you just have no problem at all. Now, in regards to the specifications of this device, well, there isn't really much I can tell you. I mean, I've already mentioned the 15 megapixel camera, but this user manual is more about the software itself and what it can offer you. And there is some quite interesting things that I would like to point out. I mean, straight away, you've got the option of emailing whatever it is you have scanned directly from the software itself. But listen to this, this is quite cool. It actually has finger removal function too. So for example, if I'm holding a book open like so, in order for it to scan correctly, the software will recognize that my thumbs are in shot and it will automatically remove them from the final image. But I think now it's time for the main event, which is of course setting all this up and just seeing how good it is. 
Okay then, so as you can see, we are now all set up and ready to go. I've got the book scanner here on my left, and of course I've got the software pre-installed on my PC. Now in regards to the software itself, it does seem quite simple to use. I mean, along the top here, if you just look at this, we have the document options, we've got the book, we've got barcode, we've got email, we've got photocopy, and of course we have video as well. And then if you take a look along the left-hand side, you've got your rotation options, you've got your zoom in and out, you've got your one-on-one -on -one picture display you can add a watermark which I think is a very cool feature and then of course you've got your focus as well as manual cropping there too so to scan a book we obviously need to select the book option at the top of the screen there and then as you can see a line appears down the center of the image and that is basically like an alignment tool you want that line pretty much in the center of the book now it doesn't have to be exact but you do want it as close as possible so I'm going to scan this now here we go Okay then, so that seems to go quite quick. It makes a little shutter sound for you to hear that it has taken a snapshot. And if you go over to the left, we can just see how well it has turned out. And it has turned out very well. I mean, you've got nice, easily readable writing. It's come out nice and sharp, nice and crisp. But most importantly, my finger has disappeared from the final image. Yeah, <laughs> that really is quite cool. In regards to how the scanned book looks on a smart device, an e-reader, or even a Kindle, I've just downloaded the EPUB file onto my iPhone and then opened up with the iBooks application. And from what I can see, it does appear to work fairly well, although unfortunately it's not 100% accurate. For example, at the top of the page here, the chapter title is Introduction. And what the scanner has done, it has picked up on this and then just amalgamated that into the story itself, as you can see here at the top of the page. There also appears in this particular book a few words that this scanner cannot recognize. And once more, if you look closely, you can see that they've come up spelled incorrectly. I did, however, try it out with a few other books and they came through remarkably clear. If you take a look at this example, all the writing is correctly laid out, there is no spelling mistakes, and once more, just like the original book itself, this would be a pleasurable read. But unfortunately, it does appear that not all books are guaranteed to work in terms of being scanned and then digitized. But one thing I will say, with the majority of the books that I have tried and tested with this scanner, not only does it just convert them with ease, but it also does it both clearly and concisely. Let's try another one then, but this time we'll convert it to a Microsoft Word document. Wow, that's actually worked quite well. I mean, you can see all the writing. There is the odd mistake, however. I can see here that the M for Margaret is on the level above. But generally, yeah, if you wanted to copy something over, let's just say you wanted this paragraph here, you could just select it all, cut it, and then paste it wherever you want. When it comes to photographs, I can imagine that because these have a glossy coating, light is going to reflect off them. But I'm going to take a scan of it anyway and just see how it looks. And there we go, like I thought, it isn't the best. I mean, you've got a bit of overexposure on my face. The colors look very oversaturated, even a bit washed out in some areas. But generally speaking, it has scanned it. So let's just say you want to scan a passport or a driving license, you have to send it over to someone as proof of ID then that would work because they would still be able to see it's you on the photo, like you can see that is me, and of course clearly read the writing as well. And finally, we come to scanning a normal document, which I presume would be the most used feature on this scanner. Now, this is just a simple letter I've quickly typed up in Microsoft Word, and I've actually printed off two copies as well, so I can show you the automatic scan interval in action. So now the countdown is beginning, and it counts from five down to zero. It scans it, and now, watch this. When I remove the first sheet of paper, it recognizes that there has been movement and begins the next stage of scanning. So as you just saw, that is quite impressive. I mean, I literally didn't touch anything apart from move my page out the way. So that'd be really good if you had a lot of documents that needed copying, or maybe you wanted to scan an entire book and then transfer it over to an e-reader file. Because the amount of time and effort it would save, you wouldn't have to again keep pressing stop and start on this software. You literally turn a page or remove the documents, and then the software will scan the next one for you. 
And for those of you who wish to see what happens when you do take multiple scans, well the software can not only convert them like it has done here in a PDF format, but on top of that, if you were required to send numerous documents to someone, for example via email, you can quite simply just scan them all in and then send them over as one simple and straightforward file. So there you go, that was a quick overview and of course a demonstration of the Icodis Megascan Pro X7. And to be honest with you, it really is a very impressive tool when it comes to scanning both books and documents. For starters, the build of the scanner itself really does feel like a high quality product. And the software that comes with it offers a vast amount of features allowing large amounts of copying to become a quick and easy process. However, unfortunately, it is not always 100% accurate. Like previously mentioned, not all books are guaranteed to work, and anything with a glossy finish is going to be difficult to scan effectively. It's also a shame that when converting books, there is no option to convert them to a file that is compatible with Kindles. However, I have found a way around this, and I've placed all the details on how to do it in the description of this video. Overall, however, the Megascan Pro X7 may not be perfect, but in most cases, it does do the job very well. It scans, it copies, and if you are someone who maybe works in a business or even tutoring industry, then this scanner could be something to consider, as not only a smart, but most importantly, portable piece of kit. Now, as usual, before I go, if you've got any questions or comments or even thoughts that you'd like to tell me about the Icodis Megascan Pro X7, then you know what to do. Put them in the comment section below and I'll do my very best to get back to you as quickly as possible. Not forgetting, if you like this video and you like tech, then please show your appreciation by giving this video a fantastic thumbs up. Don't forget to share it and most importantly, hit me up on that classic subscribe button. But until next time, thank you once again for watching and I'll hopefully see you at some point very soon. Thank you.